What's up guys, Travis Wingfield here again for 100 yards with Dolphins cornerback Cater Kohu. Out here at this practice field, all I can think about for you is, you know, going back to this time last year, you're a rookie trying to find your way. You have an awesome rookie season. Now here you are going into year number two. Have you had a chance to kind of like look back and reflect on where you've been this last year? No, nah, most definitely. It's surprising because, I mean, just coming from the level I came from, it's, it's hard to make it to the NFL. No matter how good you think you are, it's always going to be hard. So just reflecting on that and just seeing that I made my dream happen is crazy. Yeah, your dream happen coming yeah. true is awesome. And yes, sir. One of those things is I'm sure going up against a guy like Tyreek Hill. Yeah. And I'm wondering, you know, again, coming out here for last spring, right? Yeah. Rookie mini camps, whatever it might have been, OTAs. Did you have a moment where it was like, okay, this is the NFL, this ain't Texas A&M Commerce? Yeah. <laughs> no, it was definitely when I saw, we did rookie mini camp, and then we came in that Monday. I saw him in the locker room and stuff. I was like, damn, that's really Tyreek Hill. But then you kind of have to just let that go for a little bit because you are trying to earn a spot, so you just have to go out there and just compete just against him like he's everybody else. Because fast forward a few months later, you're starting a playoff game for the Miami Dolphins yeah. taking plays. Do you think about that, about how far you came in that process? Nah, most definitely. I feel like uh, when I was here for OTAs, uh, that rookie that rookie season, I was like kind of drowned in water. Like everything was uh, like moving a little too fast and stuff. Then we took that month off. I went home, kind of regrouped, and then came back. And But now nah, that was crazy though, starting the playoff game, going from watching it on TV to actually playing in it. If you had to give a piece of advice to an undrafted rookie, what would it be? Uh, just compete, uh, do all the little things right. You know, you're already undrafted, so you don't have really have room to, like, on stuff like being late, not knowing your playbook and stuff like that. Most Get, definitely. Getting to know Coach Crossman too, right? You yeah. Got special teams. Yeah, a definitely. Bit. Yeah, oh guy, yeah, special teams. Absolutely. Big. So you play with uh, under cornerback coach Sam Madison. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He's royalty around here. What's yeah. it been like learning under him? Nah, Sam. I feel like he's he's a big part of my success. Like not even just from the coaching standpoint, but. Like him just being kind of like a mentor, he's always hyped me up like before games, before plays, and you know he played the position, so listen to anything he has to say is like, is like golden. You gotta, you gotta have that. So you're yeah. number two here, you, you look upon, you know, like rookie year, great year for you, obviously great yes, year sir. for the team. What are your goals heading into the second season for yourself and for the team? Me personally, I, like, I feel like I had a lot of penalties and stuff, so limiting that and just making a lot more plays, getting like more interceptions. Was it pretty neat to pick off Aaron Rodgers in the end zone right back here? Yeah, most definitely, yeah. A Christmas day, too. Yeah, exactly, yeah, Christmas what, gift. Did your family talk about that at all with you? Like, what was that conversation like? Uh, you talk to your family after the pick? I'm not gonna lie, I don't think my parents even know who Aaron Rodgers is. So it was more <laughs> so like conversation I had with like friends yeah. and stuff like that, but yeah. That's good stuff. So yeah. you're number two here, new defensive coordinator, Vic Fangio. You talk about Sam Asman being a legend. Mm -hmm. Vic's a legend of his own yeah. right. What's it been like kind of getting to know him and his new defense here? Uh, the defense is going to be fun. It's exciting. Like we, we all uh, have eyes on the ball and stuff like that. And just learning from a guy, I feel like everywhere he's been, like his defense has been like in the top five. So hopefully that's what we can do here. We're getting close to the end zone here. Yes, hopefully one of your picks this year goes back for six. If yeah. you do, have you got a celebration planned for us? Uh, not as right now, <laughs> but as the closer we get to the season, I'm going to have to come up with something. Because last year I feel like I was selling myself short with the celebrations I had. Who do you think has So we got Cheetah does the backflip. Yeah. Waddle has the, that's my pick, the Waddle. Yeah. I think Raheem maybe has the most underrated touchdown celebration yeah, this, in the NFL. This, yeah. Who do you think has the best one on the team? On the team, uh, either Waddle. Uh, I like Javon's. It's not a, a touchdown celebration, but when he pulls the thing out, yeah, I like that. It's pretty good stuff. Yeah. Okay, I appreciate your time. Nah, yes, sir. Okay, of course. Go.